Hello, um, this is Paige recording um, our info session. I meant to record it the other day and um, forgot to press the record button. So I just thought I would re-talk uh, about our cleanse. There were a lot of people with questions and they didn't get to make the info session. So I'm just gonna re-record it and share it with anyone who uh, is interested in the cleanse but doesn't really know what it means or what it's about. Um, and uh, if you followed any of my videos before, I've talked about the importance of cleansing in the spring. Uh, the way I like to think about it is we go and maintenance our car, you know, several times a year to get the oil changed and to make sure that our car is running smoothly and our bodies are no different. You know, we um, can run ourselves uh, thin and deplete our bodies and also, um, you know, end up getting toxicity in the body that needs to be removed. And um, if we don't do anything about it, then over the course of our lives, um, we can have disease. So, um, so that's the reason why we do it. But in the spring, most importantly, we do a cleanse to go into fat metabolism mode after the winter months that we've been um, storing fat to insulate our bodies. And our body wants to lose this fat um, if we don't and we carry extra weight, um, we have toxic fat inside of us. Um, there's a book about this. Um, I thought it was really interesting. I was looking over it the other day. And when we carry on extra weight, uh, where, we store, where we store all of the toxins in our body is in our fat cells. And basically, if you're overweight, you have a lot of toxicity in your, in your body. And... Um, you know, that's fine for a certain amount of time, but over the long haul, uh, it, it causes disease and it's one of the main causes of, of cancer. It's almost like having a malignant tumor, uh, but over time, if that persists, um, you know, you will have disease. So, um, so it's important to, you know, maintain our bodies just like we would our car or HVAC system or anything in our lives that needs uh, regular maintenance, our bodies do as well. So. Um, you know, I would hope that most people would see their bodies as more important than even their car or any, any other thing that they maintenance. Um, but as we go into Vata season, uh, we want to eat the bitter, astringent, dry, and pungent foods. Those are the foods that put us into fat metabolism mode. So this detox is designed to utilize those foods to um, help us uh, cleanse um, toxicity and fat, the lymphatic system, the liver, uh, the pancreas and the gallbladder. Um, so we really want to clear out the digestive sludge that's hanging out in our GI tract. Um, and in Ayurveda, the digestive sludge is called ama, and um, ama causes disease, just like what I talked about. Um, we have, you know, a lot of us are carrying around poorly digested food uh, that provokes hormonal imbalances. Um, it triggers inflammation, and it is the root cause of all diseases. Um, so uh, the other thing is um, we want the cleanse to be doable, manageable, and a time for exploration. Um, it's a time to learn new recipes and to try new things on. I know I get tired of eating the same thing all the time, and um, I'm always looking for inspiration, but I don't get that you know, if I don't take the time to sit out and meal plan and actually try on new recipes. So it's a great time to just focus and get attentive around trying on new recipes that uh, once you try them, then it's easy to make and it's easy to replicate. Um, the other idea of the cleanse is to get in touch with our digestive fire. So I've talked in other videos about what the digestive fire is and in Ayurveda, you know, um, if we eat a meal and we're not hungry, we don't really have a digestive fire. So we're not going to burn that food. It's going to get stored in our bodies. It's going to hang out in our GI tract. So a cleanse is a great time to like re get used to what our digestive fire is to not snack, you know, to fast, um, only have certain hours of the day that we're eating. Um, if many of you've heard of intermittent fasting, you, you eat for eight hours and you fast for 16. Um, so again, it's just like learning what that feels like so that we can stay in touch with our uh, digestive fire. And the other thing is, is when you start to cleanse and you start to cut out foods like sugar and processed foods, um, you start to get in touch with your cravings and how much those cravings are ruling your life and your body and your mind. Um, you know, I know certainly I love chocolate and that can become a daily habit. 
And before I know it, I'm using chocolate for energy. And so when you start to cleanse, you really get in touch with, oh my gosh, this is how much these cravings are ruling my life. And, uh, and then once you get through the cleanse, you start to crave balance versus craving imbalance. Um, and then people you know, are, are very curious about, if I do this cleanse, what am I gonna eat? And a lot of people do juicing cleanses, which can be very depleting and um, hard and very restrictive. Uh, but this one, we'll be eating a beet salad um, that helps clean uh, the digestive system and the liver uh, and the gallbladder. Uh, we'll be drinking alkalizing green smoothies or green tonics and soups um, for four or five days. And we'll be eating a lot of green tart apples. Um, that really helps, again, with the lymph and the liver and the gallbladder. And then when we get further into it, we'll start to really start to burn fat and get on a more mono kitchery diet where we just let our digestive system rest and we eat steamed vegetables. And so it's not like you're depriving yourself. Um, you actually uh, are nourishing yourself. Um, and then the other really key important of the cleanse, which is important for all of us, is hydration, hydration, hydration. And I was talking on the call the other night about in Ayurveda, you know, in America, we put ice in all of our drinks. And in Ayurveda, we drink warm, warm water or warm tea uh, throughout the day because, um, the, you know, someone was asking on the call, well, why is that? Why is that important? And I said, well, when you heat up the body, you heat up the metabolic rate. Um, so when you raise the temperature of the body, the cells start to move and you're starting to get the lymphatic system moving and the blood moving, and that helps raise the metabolic rate. Um, and then the great thing about the kitchery is that we'll be using a lot of Ayurvedic spices. Many of you are familiar you know, with turmeric, um, but we'll be eating carminative spices, which help you know, with gas and and bloating, but also they're very anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and um, these Ayurvedic spices are known um, and even proven by Western science to uh, to de decrease inflammation in the body, which you know, as we all know now, inflammation causes disease. So there'll be a lot of that um, in the second part of the cleanse. And then the, la uh, the last few things I wanted to talk about is, um, you know, when people get into cleanse, they just start doing it. But this cleanse, we're going to be focusing on our what, our why, and our anchor statement. You know, what is it that our bodies really need? Why do we even want to do this? And then those um, things that are motivating us will become our anchor to carry us through the cleanse. Because without that self-inquiry work, it's hard to maintain and support a cleanse. Um, so we also have a self-inquiry component to the program. And, um, and I'll be talking about the power of habit. Um, you know, we think that we can willpower ourselves through uh, working out or willpower ourselves to eat the right foods, but that's actually the wrong mentality. Um, what really helps us change in the long term is the power of habit, creating small incremental changes that um, become our new habits versus our old habits. And the way to become successful is instead of depleting ourselves or willpowering ourselves that we cannot have something, uh, we have the mentality that we're, we're putting in before we take out, that we're replacing an old habit with a good habit. And, um, and so really, change happens through habit. Well, the middle part of our brain, the ganglia, uh, actually um, has been proven uh, to um, that that our habits lead us more than anything than like our willpower. It's it, when people went into like they studied people who had strokes or had lost in lost the memory part of the brain, but they still had things that they did every day that even though they lost their memory, they could still remember certain things because they had these strong habits that were put into place. Um, so we'll get into talking about that uh, in the cleanse. And, um, and then I wanted to talk lastly that an Ayurveda cleanse is different than other cleanses because it is a mind-body connection. That, um, you know, that whatever we do, whatever we eat affects our mind. Uh, we can't introduce things into our lives that are not affecting um, our emotional and subtle body. And um, so, so it's a mental cleanse as much as it's, uh, it's a uh, body cleanse. Um, so having those daily habits of body movement and meditation uh, are really helpful and supportive. Um, 
And then we'll just, like I said, be going through uh, discussing intermittent fasting and our digestive fire. We'll have three live Zoom calls and we have a Facebook group forum and documents to help support you. So if you are interested, we would love you to join us. You can go onto our website at love, L-U-V dash yourself.com. We were Thrive Yoga, Health and Wellness. You can also go to www.thrive dash yoga.com. Um, or you can just reach out to me personally and I would love to answer any questions that you have. We start on Saturday. If you do end up watching this and you want to join a little later, we can obviously, I mean, we can extend it a, a few days at the end, or you can at least follow through in the final days at the end. Um, but yeah, um, thanks. And, um, I hope some of you watch this and if, even if you don't join us, I hope it's inspirational. Thank you. Bye-bye.